Well, it's kind of a challenge. The, the motion capture is a bit challenging because you're in this big empty room with, you know, people standing around filming you and, uh, you know, half the people looking at their watch to see when lunch is. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta be inspired. But, uh, no, it was just, we, we actually put a, the sheer amount of time was beyond what we've usually put into, you know, projects other than records. No, we it, didn't, it didn't really impact it because we had we had we had at one point started working on the on uh, our new material and we kind of put it on the sidelines and so when we did the game was really that really all we were uh, concentrating on so it didn't really you know, didn't get in the way so. Yeah, I, I was kind of mentioning this to someone else, but you know, when I saw my character back, I thought, wow, do I really do that? <laughs> some of it was like, yay, I do that. And some of it was like, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> you've, you've got a lot of options in, in, this, uh, in this environment. Um, you can pretty much, you know, you you can pretty pretty much tailor it to what you want. And this, you know, can we get rid of the blemish over here? And oh yeah, don't worry about that. You it's know, animation. So, so yeah, it, it's it's a world of perfection. Much, uh, yeah, you can make it. You can really tailor it. See, um, one thing about being together this long is you get approval. You know, nothing can be done without our approval. So. When somebody's playing this game, they can be confident that everything is in there is in there because we wanted it to be in there as well as uh, the game company. No, because the the because uh, the, the presentation is really accurate. You know, I mean, we worked really hard uh, on uh, on making that happen. So all the moves, you know, all of Steven's moves and all of Joe's moves and these guys. It's, it's the way that they really move on stage, so it's, you know, it, it's really an accurate representation and it's, the technology is pretty amazing. It's very organic, we don't, uh, you know, we, we don't spend two weeks choreographing anything before we, you know, uh, we play what we feel and, um, you know, I think the, it, it's, the, watching the game or seeing the game and seeing all that stuff is probably somewhere in between the audio experience and the actual concert experience experience you know it's come it's getting a little bit closer to that but yeah we don't have to do anything special it's like i said it's just an organic experience for us and if you get to watch it that's you witness that energy well yeah and that's what we always want to be and always have wanted to be so we didn't have to ramp it up thinking about that but yeah we're, we're aware that you know we're in a period where there's the hunger for guitar music is greater than it's been in a long time because uh, we've lived through all these eras where they said the guitar is dead as the main instrument instrument of rock music and it's all going to be synthesizers now. And I remember reading that and being baffled why it has to be one or the other. Uh, but um, it, just knowing there's so many more guitar hungry people out there is really inspiring. So you get we, guys like, you know, you watch a like, guy like Jack White come along and, and, and just like, yeah, you know, it's like, you're never going to take that away. You're never going to deny that. There's uh, the passion and the power that 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 lives in that space of a a man and his guitar. You just that's <laughs> it's man. It's great. It's a metaphor for a weapon. It is. It's you like know? a soldier. It's a bit like a soldier on the front lines in a, in a, in a without way. the terror, without the yeah. fear and. Machine gun, Jimi Hendrix, you know? Yeah. There you go. I feel really good. Um, yeah, I've, I've been... It, it's funny being off the road. My life is more planned up and busy than we're on the road. Uh, and I've been really savoring that, you know, about how many cool things there are to do in any given day. And I, I notice stuff more than I used to. But I feel great. Thanks for asking.
No, well, I don't think it's not pointed out, but maybe, you know, it's because... It's a positive game. Yeah, because, the, right, those moments in the game are highlights. And maybe one of the things that makes those moments so big for us that they go in the game is that we, we know what the contrast is with some of the other things we've been through. Right. Well, I'll say what I said before, the who would be incredible because if they can encapsulate what those guys did, um, it's going to be an extremely fun game to play. Um, I'd like to see uh, Eddie Van Halen do it because I think that he uh, is, I think his playing is what it is. It's, it, it's, it's interesting and I think that he pretty much put a change on the face of guitar playing and uh, it would make for a good game. Plus, I'm a big Van Halen fan, so. I think this is going to cross all genres at some point. And um, so I'm excited just about anything that's going to come down the line. Um, the Beatles would be phenomenal. So, but I think it's going to, you're going to see it across all sorts of genres. It's going to get better and better. Um, and uh, it, it's just, it's a, it's a great game now, and I can't imagine where it's going to be in a couple of years. Mm. You're going to be playing holographically, I think, you know, with bands in your mm. living room, probably. I think that would uh, be very cool. <laughs> someday, I mean, you never know. They, they could come up with something where you take that guitar controller and actually formulate your own riffs, songs. You know, in a very simple way. Yeah. But right. it, it could totally happen. You know, so you so a kid could get the feeling of what it's like to come up with a something they just thought of and it works. It's a really joyous feeling. I mean, if you're passionate about you know music or a certain group or whatever, I mean, just imagine being able to do that with in all, in all forms of music, just like so many other. You know, you can these other video games, you know, it's like you're right in the middle of a football game or NBA game or baseball. And you're going to be right in the middle of all of it in your living room. Yeah. Well, uh, I think something that's the most emotionally satisfying is that there's a big hungry audience for the guitar songs. They're, they're, it's, an acknowledgement again that there are masses of people who don't, don't necessarily want to hear the, the ballad hit singles which you know I mean I like everything we've ever recorded but it's just an amazing feeling to think about all the, all the sort of guitar connection that's going to go on.